This is a list of United States wireless communications service providers. The Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association CTIA, lists approximately 30 facilities-based wireless service providers in the United States as members. Competitive Carriers Association CCA, has over 100 members. Besides the facilities based providers, there are 50 plus virtual operators that use the top four networks to provide the service. Topic largest U.S. wireless providers The top four wireless telecommunications facilities based service providers by subscriber count in the United States are Verizon Wireless, 153.9 million, Q3 2018, AT&T Mobility, 150.2 million, Q3 2018, T-Mobile U.S., 77.2 million, Q3 2018. Sprint Corporation, 53.5 million Q3 2018 Each active SIM card is considered a subscriber. Wholesale customers include machine-to-machine -machine and mobile virtual network operator customers that operate on the host network, but are managed by wholesale partners. Verizon Wireless does not report wholesale subscriber count. For comparison purpose, the total subscriber count for Verizon Wireless includes an estimated number of wholesale customers. Topic technologies used The top five wireless providers have all standardized on 4G LTE as their wireless communication standard, which has been deployed across the entire coverage. However, the LTE bands used by each provider remain largely incompatible. All five wireless providers also maintain legacy networks, of these, AT&T and T-Mobile use GSM and 3G UMTS mostly converted to 4G HSPA+, while Verizon, Sprint, and U.S. Cellular use CD-MA1, EVDU, 1XRTT. While the top four wireless providers operate nationwide wireless networks which cover most of the population in the United States, U.S. Cellular and other smaller carriers provide native network coverage across selected regions of the United States while supplementing nationwide coverage through roaming agreements with other carriers. As of 2016 all operators have adopted LTE, which includes provisioning of service through SIM cards. Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint sell SIM cards through their retail channels in store and online however the selection of devices compatible with Verizon and Sprint networks is limited. All carriers except Sprint have enabled Volt on their networks. AT&T shut its GSM network down on December 31, 2016. T-Mobile plans to reduce spectrum allocated for GSM and use the network mostly for nomadic and non-mobile GSM services through 2020. T-Mobile hopes to shut down 3G network long before 2020. As of September 2016, 60% of calls were on Volt. Verizon introduced first LTE only phone, LG Exalt LTE, in June 2017. Verizon plans to shut down CDMA1 XRTT network by the end of 2019. CDMA EVDU was scheduled to operate until 2021 according to the plan announced in 2012. As of May 2017 half of voice traffic is on Volt. <laughs> Facilities-based service providers The following tables lists service providers that own and manage their network equipment and facilities. Unless specified otherwise the subscriber count includes subscribers on the virtual networks hosted. Contiguous U.S. and Hawaii <laughs> 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 
Topic: Alaska. Topic: Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands. Topic: Guam and Northern Mariana Islands. Topic: American Samoa. Topic: Defunct, merged, and acquired operators. Some operators listed below may still function as a separate brand, but they no longer own any infrastructure, towers, network, etc. Topic. See also List of United States mobile virtual network operators List of CDMA 2000 networks List of UMTS networks List of LTE networks List of mobile network operators List of mobile network operators of the Americas List of mobile network operators of the Asia-Pacific region